what's up guys good morning so we made it okay so now today i'm gonna be on the middle bank boat once again beautiful boat hi hello it's fisherman squad yep so we made it safely we're here we're about to check in and we're gonna start the fishing today it's just me no tj no ken no zin today and it's gonna be a beautiful day it's a beautiful morning the sun is coming out it said it's gonna be cloudy but from the looks of things it's gonna be nice and beautiful today so once we get on the boat, we get situated, we get to the spot, guess what? You're going to be riding shotgun with me. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn post notification on. And yes, we're going to have a grand, spectacular, great day. i see you when we get on something. All right, guys, so here we go. All rigged up. As you can see, the good old ugly stick GBX2. Nice rig here. Ryan just set me up. Okay. We got a six ounce sinker that we're going to be using. Yeah, we're ready to rock and roll. Thanks to Ryan. Yep, so the sun is out. I, I really didn't know that the sun was going to be out today because it said um, it's going to be a cloudy day, but this is a good sign. Okay guys, see you in a few. Alright guys, so we're taking off now. We're about to take off. Where will we go? Nobody know. We're backing up right now to get a... To be on our way. There we go. Turning. Okay, guys, first fish. Yep. He's fighting. Yeah, yeah, oh, he's fighting. There we go, guys. First porgy in the boat. Yep. There we go. It's supposed to be 10.5, right? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, yeah. There we go, guys. First one in the boat. Oh, yeah, guys. We got a nice one on. There we go. They're coming. Woo! sea bass black sea bass but he's too small yeah nice black sea bass guys they have to be 16 Back he goes, guys, because he's too small. Smooch and release. There we go, guys. We got something on. Nice. He's pulling. Oh, oh yeah. That's a nice one. Beautiful fish. Oh. 
Oh, sorry. No, you're good. Go ahead. Go, go, go. This is stemming from under the boat, guys. guys oh yeah that's okay there we go guys nice one coming up Ooh. nice quality fish oh jeez he's <laughs> huge that's a big one Man, these guys are fighting, man. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, that's clam. That's twig. Clam. There you go. <laughs> baby it's gotta get. let's see he's close this is a keeper right definitely a keeper you want us you want me to measure him just to make sure but I think I'm good yeah uh, thank you all right guys so we got a big thank you thanks thanks I think I should be good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Ryan. <laughs> exactly what I came for. My wife is going to be happy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, guys. Nice big black sea bass, right, guys? Huge one. Smooch. And in my bucket he goes. Well guys, the day is over. We caught some, we put some back. Some were too small, but I'm happy. We're headed in now. It's beautiful. Just to let y'all see what's going on. It's, it's nice out here. The top right here. Remember? It's the middle bank boat right there. Cap is up there. I don't know if you can see, but that's it right there, okay? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful headed in right now. over there normally we see the seagulls flying but I haven't seen any so I don't know but here comes one right now here he comes Ooh. oh got it <laughs> so there he is the seagull just got the fish guys did you guys I hope I caught that awesome Let me get a piece of scrap when you have a chance, please. Thanks. Thank you. Look. I'm gonna see something awesome right now. As soon as he get close, we're gonna toss this out. See if he'll catch it. That's going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, here he comes, 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 hold up, hold up, come on, come on, wait, wait, come on, ah, oh, come on, <laughs> I'm 
come again. Come on. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Get closer, get closer. Get closer. Peace. I gather some wood from the yard. And right now, I just take some, um, what do you call this? What do call it? What do you call this? This is, um, I'm not sure it. Lighter fluid, but we call it cursing oil. And we're going to pour all of it over the wood right there. So, yeah. And make it soak in a little bit and then I'm going to light the wood. See? You don't know the vibes already, yeah. So, I will put wood around my yard. I want to burn them out because... It doesn't make no sense for us to have the wood around the yard like that. So I went around, picked up all the woods that I can, and I have them right, set right here where my grill is located. So in time I want wood, some is here, but I ran out yesterday because I used it yesterday. So that's why I went out right now, and I just found some in the front of the yard, the side of the yard. and But I'm going to go around the yard and pick them up and just set them right here so they're here when I want to use some wood. All right? So while that's soaking in, I'm going to use this cardboard right here, sir, for clean the fish. Because I don't want to use my um my cutting board, man. I got lie, so I just rest the fish my right. I so it's only one fish and just scale it, gut him, and get him ready to be um cooked. All right, guys. All right, my daughter's gonna be recording. Okay, guys, it's Fisherman Squire again. Guess what? We're about to clean the fish up, get it um cooked. Okay. All right, let's go. So we're gonna scale the fish right now. Big fish, guys. I know you guys have seen me scale about uh, so many fish on this channel. I really don't need to show this. So I'm going to show just this side right here. Um, I'm not going to actually show when I'm gutting it because I know YouTube has its rights. So I'm not going to do that. But I cook my fish whole. My wife loves this fish. So I'm going to cut them up in a way you guys will see how I cut them up because I want to get all the meat in. And yeah, it's gonna be a great, great cook up. Very great cook up, guys, okay? All right, so that's one side right there. Okay, guys, so I done filleted, I done um, cleaned the fish up. All right now, I'm rinsing them off. Rinsing down. Yeah, see that? Nice and clean. Yep. Okay, good. Alright guys, good old chopper. For some of you that don't know. Y'all call some of y'all call this a um I don't even know what y'all call it in America. But for me, this is a chopper. Chop anything with this. Alright? Okay. Back to the fish. Alright. So cut that up. That's how I'm going to cut them, guys, just like that. He's so meaty that you can't even get straight to him, so that's not working, so I'll just sign, sign down, you know? Yeah, get some nice chunks out of him. This is how I'm going to cook him today. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Yeah. And of course, his head is separate. And I got everything I get cooked. Cook. And everything I get cooked. Okay? Everything. I wash them off again. Season them up and put them in another pot. Alright. Alright, see the peeps? Yeah? Uh -huh. Alright, so we'll chop him up. Clean him up already. I'll well, give him one more wash and season him down. So that's how I'm look right now. You see that? Yeah. Everything I get cooked. So we have garlic powder. A little bit of salt. Black pepper. 
Hey guys, I'm here all, I'm here all, everything while my, my um, season up at the same time. Right, I'm gonna put on the, pot, the powder seasoning them. And then I'm gonna mix it up. Yeah. We have um, seasoning salt. I don't wanna put too much, too much seasoning on it, right? And then I put one more and that's it. See it here? So this right here is seafood seasoning. Mm -hmm. Get it all pan it, you know? Yeah. See it there? Good. Uh, I'm gonna rub the scene right now. And we have some scotch bonnet pepper there already pan it. So that's all I need for fry it up. I don't need nothing else. Yeah. Rub it in. Rub it in. Rub it in. Mm -hmm. Rub it in, you know? Alright. While this is going to simmer a little bit now, that should be enough. Yeah. I'll put him to sit down in the fridge. Well, no, I don't want him in the fridge. It just go and sit on right there and see my now nah, take long for me to start the fire outside. Alright, yeah. Okay. Alright, peeps, you see it there? Fire gets started. So just a wait for that for burn out a little bit. Well it's not for burn out because we're gonna put a pot on top of it just to fry the fish and then for stew the fish, alright? Yeah. So once it catch really good, that's the plan. All right, I'll see you guys when the pot is on and the fish is frying. Okay, peeps, so see it you now. Get a better start in pan the fire. Yeah, fish are fry up. Mm -hmm. All right, Jamaya, unfortunately, Jamaya had to go and take care of some stuff in the house with her mom. So I'm trying to record and fry the fish myself. Hopefully it don't turn over on me. <laughs> yeah, but now see if I can find a couple more pieces of stick so I can um, get it situated well. So I apologize if the video is not coming out too too good because I'm trying to center but I'm trying to turn at the same time. Alright? Yeah. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. Alright, so see there. Yeah. Alright, good. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, so the fish is frying, okay? Yeah. But I cut up to put in the fish. I have um okra. Um I have um onion, carrot, sweet pepper. And I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna get the skellion from right now because I have skellion outside, all right? The skellion farm, I fall apart. It was a lot of skellion, some big ones. I cut them down and now this is what left, we left, we left with, so. I forgot to just work with it. That's one right there, sir. Yeah, but may I take them out. I so stop, grow skellion and put in some broccoli. That's it, I come out so easily. Yeah. Some more scallion. Mm -hmm. See it there? Alright, so that's all the scallion I need, yeah. So I'm get a bunch of scallion well. Mm -hmm. So see it there, scallion? Yeah. Look at that. Jeez, a sweet, sweet tomato, you know. Eh? I'm now on a real coconut milk, so I'm going to just use the coconut cream right here. And so, you know. Yeah, get a little bit of coconut milk, so you don't know, the sea bass are gone. So, I just drain it over it a little bit. I don't want too much in there. Mm -hmm. If you never tried this, I'm telling you, this is the bomb. It's one of the best methods you can ever use to make fish. All right, let me just, so, I just pour the coconut milk on the sea bass. It's like a bubble. Take your time and cook down. I'm going to put the top back on it, and yeah. Watch the ride, all right? I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some tomatoes to put in there. All right, peeps, you see there? The fish are bubbled down. Yeah, broke it up small. I never mean for broke it up, but the pot did that, so yeah. 
coconut milk so you know it have to cook a little bit more so, yo it is gonna be so good oh yeah very nice and tasty now i put in the tomato last and some more scotch on the pepper and make it go and bubble down a little bit more yeah all right so i'm not gonna show no more head cooking after it done you will see the finished product and me eating and indulging in my stomach mm. yummy eat the peeps that done now you know so i take it off and plate it inside and yeah that's it all right all right so i'll see you guys when i get inside jesus mm. yes sir succulent and nice so peeps i'm kind of upset because the fish mash out we have some corn in there uh, every the seasoning and everything where we use to season it up so we have a piece of dumpling right there so <laughs> we don't want some face right now we have some white rice and yeah that way i can eat all right it was a good day i'm not lie bully for porgy i'm not even um clean the porgy them yet but may i clean them and then we'll catch um the flounder may i do that tomorrow not tomorrow probably thursday and fillet that and shoot and post a video there yeah pardon me but right now i'm gonna indulge in a dish yeah what's there see that what's that baby making food you don't know what that is mm. and the coconut milk that's pronounced in there yeah man mm -hmm. So I'm there now, I have a mind for bone because I bone in yet. Never filet it. Mm -hmm. But everything good. Watch the over yonder. Yeah man. Alright. So peeps. I enjoy this. And I'll see you in the next video. Fisherman Squire out. Subscribe. Turn post notification on. It's gonna get better than this. It's gonna get great guys, I'm telling you. I'm not going to stop making content for you guys, all right? I'll see you guys later. We are dumpling and rice.